Okay. So the first term, the auditory canal, or the external acoustic meatus, is the opening from the outside world until we hit the tympanic membrane. So this is the auditory canal. Second term is the auricle, or the pinna, which is just this top part of the ear on the outside that you can feel. The cochlea is going to be the snail shell-like structure right here. It has to do with sound. The eustachian tube is going to be this back part. So behind the tympanic membrane is the eustachian tube. This was auditory canal. Next, we have the incus. So I'm just going to cover all three of those bones real quick. So once you hit the tympanic membrane, then you have the malleus, which sits right on the back of the tympanic membrane. The incus is the middle man. So this is the incus, and you can see the divide right there. Malleus touching the tympanic membrane. Incus is the middle man, and then you put it back in place. That would be touching this little bone, which is the stapes or the stapes. And the stapes or stapes is inserting into this piece of bone, which is the vestibule. So we have the cochlea over here, vestibule right here, and then these toilet bowl looking structures are the semicircular ducts. And how does that actually get sent to the brain? We have the vestibulocochlear nerve eight, cranial nerve eight, vestibular cochlear nerve in the back, okay? And the three regions, real quick, are the outer ear, which is everything on the outside, all the way until you hit the tympanic membrane. Then really where just those three bones, the malleus, incus, and stapes are, that's the middle ear. And then everything else from the inside there is the inner ear. And those are the regions, okay? And that is it for this model.